how to do the lava wall boost skip. We don't really have a name for it. In Gravity Gauntlet, I'm in Gravity Gauntlet 1 right now, but in an optimal any percent run, you would only do this on Gravity Gauntlet Comet, since in 1, you do behind the castle because you need the Comet Metal. Um, but you can do this as a backup if you die attempting behind the castle. And again, optimally, you will attempt this in um, Gravity Gauntlet Comet. I'm going to warn you, this is a very complicated skip to figure out. Um, it requires some pretty precisely timed inputs. So the first thing you want to do is grab this life mushroom. And there are a lot of ways people set this up. What I tend to do is I run over here to where this line is and line myself up with it. So now, here's the thing. Um, right here is a lava wall. I can't go into first person mode here, so I can't show it. So you can't really see it very well. But right here is a lava wall. If I'm to hit this lava wall, I'll get boosted horizontally. And if you hit the lava again, then you'll gain a really big boost in horizontal speed. And you can use this to... So how this level is supposed to work is you go through here, then there's the... 2D part of the castle, the swimming section, and then you lose the want platform. You can go from here and land on the want platform. So this is a very finicky trick. It took me a while to master, so um, we'll see if this works out. So here's how this is going to work. What you want to do is you're going to... I'm going to explain this all here because it's really hard to explain it as the trick is happening because you can't really pause or anything. So you're going to long jump into this lava wall from this position, um, and again, it, it can vary. Um, a lot of people use different positions, I use this one just because it works for me. Spin right before hitting the lava, and I'll explain why later, and just hold right until you fall off the edge. Now, after falling off the edge a little bit into it, Mario's gravity will start to change. Wait a half second once his model starts to flip, and then switch from holding right to left. You need to do this so that Mario will kind of slow down a little bit. Um, otherwise, he'll just land too far right on the platform, and sometimes too far right means you miss it entirely, and you're dead. And then eventually, once Mario's going to start to kind of fall up right, and it's at this moment you want to hold up left. And then if, if you do it all correctly, Mario should get caught up in grounding. And if you do it all correctly, you should land on the right side of the platform with the long on. So, I'll try and show it off here. Long jump, spin, hold right, and I'll let you know when I switch. Right. Left, up, left. Alright, I got kind of lucky there. I landed around the center of the platform, but I didn't die. So, I'm just going to go ahead and die and try to show it off again. <laughs> there are a huge variety of outcomes that can come from this. By the way, you can land in a, there are a variety of situations where you can land on that platform. So, I'm gonna try and slow down a lot, um, just to show off something. Okay, so right, ha what happened there is I fell through the platform, and that can happen if you land too far left. Um, I kind of landed in the center there, but it was kind of off to the left. Um, I believe that happens if you slow down too much. Or which means you hold left for too long. So that was one of those situations where I kind of over-exaggerated it. But I'll try and show this off again to show where you should operate. Now. now, that can also happen sometimes if you land on the right side of the platform. Okay, that was... So what happened there is I landed right around here. You actually don't want to aim for that because it's very... If, you, if you're consistently aiming that far low, then I I don't know exactly know what exactly you're doing wrong, but you're doing something wrong, I believe. Your up left timing is too late. Or something or too early. And if you happen to consistently end up that low on the platform, even if you make it, then you're doing something wrong. Because you wanna land where I landed you wanna land around where I landed the first time I got it. Alright, so I'll explain why I spend if I can get this time. Alright, I landed low again. But you can cut. It's possible if you don't spin, at least this is the superstition of the galaxy community. If you don't spin, you can sometimes fall through even if you land on the right side. Yeah. 
And so just spin right before hitting the lava and you should be fine. I'll try to get this I'll try to get the good a good showing on this skip a couple times. I think I'm I might be holding up left too early. It this takes a lot of time to get used to, and also the time he can vary. I'm playing on a CRT. Um and if you're playing on an HD TV, this might be different for you. Okay, so right there, I think I slowed down a little too much. I might have switched to left a little early there. It's really difficult to get the timing of the right to left transition down. You just kind of have to play with this for a little while and try to get the hang of the timing of these inputs. This should be good. All right, that is where you want to land optimally, right around here. In this region right here, this is where you want to be landing consistently. If you aren't landing consistently there, then you're doing something wrong. Right. I'm going to show this skip off in the comment now, just so you're aware of what it looks like in that situation. The only real difference here is that you're on a timer. But that that shouldn't be, that should be the least of your worries. If you're, Guys, if you miss this, you die anyway. Also, that is a garage. Don't mind it. And I skipped the cutscenes. The cutscenes don't really matter for what I'm trying to show off here. So again, you would grab the mushroom, head over here, long jump right. I spent a little in a bit of a bad spot there. I might have done that incorrectly. All right. So I landed kind of in the middle there, but you get the idea. Anywhere around that region is usually good, as long as you don't fall through. And then from there, you can just kind of continue on. And there you go. So I'm just going to kind of go ahead and get the start just to show you what the movement looks like. It doesn't really matter if you get hit. It's almost impossible to get through here anyways. And there you go. So I hope that tutorial kind of helps. I'm a little inconsistent with this strat. So hopefully you'll end up a lot more consistent than I am at that skip. But... If you're having any issues at all, just let me know and I can try and help. But again, this is a really finicky skip. It will take a lot of practice to get the timing for every controller input switched out. But if you need any help, just leave a comment and I'll do the best that I can.